I want you to take a nice deep breath and then just, you know, share with the audience tonight. In Small Things Forgotten by James Dietz, seven Americans engaged in commonplace activities, all in their fashions, were communicating with us in a subtle way. In each case, material objects were involved, a house, a gravestone, a set of dishes. And if we could, in some way, find a way to understand the significance of artifacts as they were thought of and used by Americans in the past, we might gain insight into the history of our nation. Such a concern for the material objects of the past, the small things forgotten, is central to the work of historical archaeologists. Archaeology is the study of the past peoples based on the things they left behind and the ways they left their imprint on the world. Modern American culture, a rich and vibrant blend of African, Asian, European, and Native American culture traditions, is studied by folklorists, historians, sociologists, and anthropologists. Historical archaeologists can add to our understanding of the American experience in a unique way. By looking not at the written work alone, but at the small, countless objects left behind by Americans for over three and a half centuries. Courtney, great job. Fantastic reading. Thank you. You're welcome. Courtney, I just wanted to get an idea of what your career goals are. I know that you're a fantastic student. I know that your favorite subjects are English and math, and I know that you like writing um, and that you like to analyze things. So what do you plan to do in the future? Currently, I'm unsure what I'm going to do in the future. However, I do know I may want to do something maybe in journalism or mass okay. communication. Great. Journalism or mass communication? Yes. Wow. There are a lot of opportunities out there for you. Yeah. Um, there are um, television stations uh, which offer internships. There's a magazine called Ports and Writers that has loads of opportunities for awards and prizes, and it also has a lot of information about um, residences you can attend. Another thing I found out, which is really interesting, I hope I can't, I don't forget it. I'm trying to think, just a second. Mm. I know what I wanted to rem remind you about, the Maryland Writers Association. Have you ever heard of them? No. In the state of Maryland, there's a group called the Maryland Writers Association. They're a fantastic group. They have an annual conference that I've attended. It was wonderful. You get to meet writers. Um, they have a very special writer in attendance. And they have workshops so you can learn more about writing. So I recommend it. There also is a group called the Middle Atlantic Writers Association. They normally sponsor a contest every year, and writers write on that topic, and they come and they get together, and they too at their writers' conference also have a very special writer in attendance. I also attended that conference some years ago. I recommend that one too. Courtney, it has been wonderful to have you on today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And I might, you probably will look in the mail and find that you'll have another invitation because I think that um, the audience has probably really enjoyed you. And also, I'm looking forward to you helping with the next Loretha B. Dingle Memorial Scholarship Dinner. I can't wait to attend. Great. And again, you're part of the history and throughout your life as you're going about making decisions and um, talking to your parents and making decisions, informed decisions, you'll be coming apart. Your, your history will be interwoven with other histories. So I wish you well and I know that your star is going to continue to soar. Thank you. You're welcome. This has been an educational moment. I'm your host, Dr. Pat Dingle.
Today we had a wonderful guest, Miss Courtney Page. Courtney attends Kenmore Middle School. She shared with us her favorite subjects. We talked a little bit about her participation in the Loretha B. Dingle Memorial Scholarship. And we had the special treat of hearing Courtney read a passage. Thank you for tuning in today. I look forward to sharing with you the next time.